Ah, oh, long time no see. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, this is actually true. <laughs> I am on a fitness journey after all, but my life um, is a natural workout. <laughs> oh, it says new Lemil banners in the lobby. Huge change. <laughs> Today we're mainly for the new Olympus environment and some fresh off the press workouts from this duo. It's good to see this application being updated. Like, I love it, people love it. It seems to be a golden standard for an actually intense workout that have results. Today I'm not gonna do the most difficult ones because I don't want to die from the heat stroke. It's 40 degrees. I barely entered VR and I'm already sweating. That's exactly why winter time is the best time. Let's do this through the targets. I'm not sure what it features. It's mostly upper body there's no full body workout for this yeah only the easiest and hardest <laughs> let's see what's done in the dark will shine in the light so put yourself to work underground and let's do this new outfit lady <laughs> i mean a shirt front stands let's go wide this time no no, no no where's the olympus <laughs> The thing I love about this short workout that you selected is that you can go absolute all out max power. Go for it. But I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, I love this one. It's yeah. one of my favorite little combos. We've got a. Let me see, just analyze stuff. We're in the workout haven. It almost seems like in depth. <laughs> Diagonal knee and a hook combo. We're going to start in front stands and work on those diagonal knees, which requires a bit of weight shift. So front stands, grab, pull, strike, left knee, go. Now the right knee. So the weight shift happens oh. when you stand on one leg and then the other. What's that? So notice how you lift your body and roll it over to one side, bending the supporting leg, reaching across the diagonal. Knee comes up high, heel comes to butt, and then you pull the momentum through the core. Exhale, inhale, exhale. That looks good. Let's move on. Let's go one knee, one hook. Right hook. Now right knee, left hook. So as you put the knee down after the strike, continue the motion in and turn the hip in and smash that hook. Try it. But this is too easy. See how it rolls? See how your body moves behind those punches? You roll into that combo. Yeah, that look good. Oh, let's go one step further. Big combo. Eight jabs. Left, right. Now hit a triple left jab. Okay, you know. Right knee. Left hook. Go! Eight, seven, six, five. Triple jab. Go. Left knee, right hook. Aye. It is what it is. It's all about body weight shifting. You're going to feel that power come through the core. Shit. Aye. Sit on that hook. Sit on the hook. It means bend your knees. Turn your body into the hook. I spoke too soon. <laughs> you might lose. You might get some. You might lose some. That's okay. As long as you stay in it. Stay in it. I love those combinations. Let's go back to a base pattern. Reach diagonal knee with the hooks. Let's go. Reach and pull. Turn hook. Yep. For a reaching from left. Strike with the right. Hitting with the left. Yep. Reach, pull, drop. Down. Turn hook. So Rach spoke about turning, rolling, pulling. Let me talk to you about range. Reach as high as you possibly can on the knee. Drive the knee up. And then anchor your feet down so you get more power in the Damn it. <laughs> This is about your level oh, of commitment. That? Fast punches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Triple left. One, two, and three. Base pattern. Knee and hook. Right side. Awesome. You know the rhythm. You've got the precision. When you step up to the challenge of that range being the best that you can make it, that's when the results happen. Because you are reaching and pulling. You are dropping and lifting. You should be so proud of yourself. You chose intermediate level for a reason. Back yourself. I will always back you. It is what it is. Nah, it is what we make it. Let's make it three shots on the same side. Knee and hook three times. Drilling it. Come on. That's it. Stay on one side. Now switch to the other. Feel that shift that I'm talking about, peeps. Feel the way that you move your body weight around these strikes. As you dominate control of your body weight. That's mastery of movement, people. 
It's also really great core work to stay on that one side and overload. All right, here comes some jabs. Let's hit them. Pop them, pop them, pop it. Call dibs on the triple. The knee, the hook. Go! Can keep me in this corner. Dibs on the jabs. We're almost done here. Hold on. Go, go! Sit down on that hook. What do I mean? I mean, bend your knees, sit low, turn the body in, turn the body in. Hey! It is what you make it. And what you make it is what you want it to be. Big shot. Finish it. How am I so bad? I blame the algorithm because it works like that. We got quick transitions. Be agile, especially on the knees. Left starts. We're gonna go upper, upper, jab, cross, jab. Now squat, sky punch, squat, hammer fist to the side. Uppers, jab, cross, jab. Drop down, stand up. Now, especially as you stand up after the second squat, hit with the little fingers on the hammer fist. You ready? Open chest. Awesome work. You know the targets, you know your technique. I'm just going to really guide you through this move. Grab for knee, quick change. So it's left and then a quick right. Now, these are fast knees. We're going to go left, pull right. Grab, pull, hit, grab, hit. Yep. Grab, pull, hit, grab, hit. It's a little bit like you're walking upstairs. So you're going to go left and right. Yep. Awesome. Brace your abs. Lift your chest. All right. Back to the combo. Uppers. Jab, cross, jab. Squat down, stand up. Big sky punch above the head. Uppers. Now, the sky punch, because you're punching above the line of the shoulder, it forces the heart rate up. But the other thing is, because you're coming out of a squat, it means you've got to stand up faster. You ready? Now. Now. Awesome. Great timing. Awesome intensity. Now I hit jabs. Four, three, two. Let's go with those knees. Grab, pull, quick one, go. Excellent. This is real kickboxing feel. So tuck your chin down as you're hitting the jab. And now lean back, knee. Oh yeah, usa, usa, heavy, grab, usa, usa. Now you're training, now you're a martial artist, come on. We're gonna put everything together. Test your choreography, test your movement capability, test your agility. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> come on, roll the shoulders. Snap the jab crosses. Dynamic. Use your legs. Jab. Lean backwards. Usa, usa. <laughs> well, at least I'm first. <laughs> now, as I'm saying this, I think I've actually got that whole look going on in my face. I'm intense. Uppers, uppers. Jab, cross, jab. I wonder what look that you've got on your face right now. <laughs> of death. Is it a smile? Is it a grimace? Is it one where you're focused? Uh, I don't know. Hold on to that rhythm, hold on to that timing. You've got this. All right, now shift your weight. Knee, right, left. Here's a couple little tips. Get your balance right, so bring your feet directly underneath your hip. And don't be afraid to move fast. Yep. Don't be afraid to bring your hands down past the level of your thigh as the knee comes up fast. Because when you move fast, you'll register the target easier. Now we're going to put it together. Uppercut. Jab, cross, jab. Squat, stand up. Hammer fist coming your way. Boom. Great. Multiple directions. Multiple targets. The timing challenges you. Your agility is being challenged. Even the intensity and your power is being challenged. This is why it's advanced. Smack the jab. Four, three, lean into it. Now power knees, go. Now that you've nailed the timing. Come on, back yourself. Nail the timing. Don't second guess yourself. Hit it fast. Pull, grab. Hit it hard. Pull, grab. Yes! We are so close! Everything! 
Full combination. It's what I call a giant set. So if you were to go training in a gym and you did multiple muscle groups, multiple reps and sets, that would be a giant set. One thing after the next. You're doing giant sets right now. This is great for results training. Feels cool, right? Boom! Very cool. I bought the combat at the end. Oh well. <laughs> Whoa. Doesn't happen often, but I gotta give it to you. That was perfect. Congratulations. <laughs> my lung. I feel like it's 50 degrees. In my apartment now, uh, I actually start to appreciate that everything is kind of choreography based, so it's easy to remember what to do and then shift the focus towards the actual workout and putting the effort. It's definitely not just randomly composed, like the movement, the dynamic and the chains actually have a reason to keep you going and to go to the shower <laughs> right after. Always good to see it being supported. I thought there's gonna be a subscription based workouts along the way. Maybe it was dropped out because people don't really appreciate this type of content in VR nowadays, but it still stays as my top fitness pick for anything, essentially. <laughs>